So in this video, it's going to be me showing you my New Year's Eve dress, me cooking meatloaf, me showing you some things in my old bedroom. So let's get started. <laughs> going to the store, out and about by myself, a pair of jeans, sweatshirt, a boot. Look what happened here. I have been tossing and turning and having so many nightmares that my bed sheets split open. Now I have to get new bed sheets. <sighs> Great. How ridiculous this is. Okay, so I am back in my old bedroom. I moved into this house when I was 13 and I moved out when I was 24 but I still have a bunch of old stuff here in the closet that you might find interesting. I was trying to find my old prom dress. I do still have a prom video. It actually came out pretty cool, but I don't know if my old prom date's gonna wanna be in it, so I might have to cut him out or blur his face or something. So some of my life is like funny and ridiculous and the other part's like tragic and awful. So let's see where's that. I used to have my bed like pushed up over here against these windows, but I would not have picked this as my bed or any of this decorating. I would never do that. That's my mom. So one of the weird things that my parents made me do, because they always liked to make me do all these strange things and I was like forced to do them. One of them was have a life coach. So when I was a teenager, my parents made me have a life coach, which was a lady that would come over to the house and talk to me. It's just, a life coach is kind of like someone that wants to be a therapist but didn't go to school for it. That's kind of what it is. Anyways, so you have to like tell them what your goals are and they're supposed to help you achieve these goals, right? And I've always wanted to be married and have that life. That's always been who I am. So she made me make a vision board of my future marriage which I didn't want to do because I thought it was really pathetic. So I found this ridiculous vision board, which I was forced to make. You want to see this? This is funny. So here it is. I wanted to have a nice guy. I wanted to have a safe home. I wanted to have a lot of laughing, cooking. I wanted to have an animal. I wanted to go on trips be together for better or for worse, have a lot of kissing, be honest with each other, make a lot of good memories. But here's the thing, the life coach wanted me to go on dates and then on the second date, she wanted me to show this to my date. And I thought, wouldn't that like scare guys? Like, wouldn't that be crazy? Anyways, I was afraid that I was gonna be forced to do this and that I was gonna get in trouble if I didn't do this. So I wrote the life coach and I said that I had to take a break from seeing her <laughs> because my plan was to never see her again. And so I never saw her again, so it worked. So I never was stuck showing this on a date. So I went and got new bed sheets because I kind of didn't have a choice. I went into Ross and found a good deal. 
I wanted white ones again, but they didn't have white ones in a king size bed, so I had to get this blush pink color, which is really the only ones they had. And I decided to get this snow leopard fleece. How are you doing in there? What's going on? Anything interesting? <laughs> Well, besides being stuck in this miserable ass dungeon, um, just thinking about you a whole lot, missing you like crazy, wondering when I'm gonna get to hold my precious little lioness again. Oh, lion! That, those are some sweet words for a captured lion. <laughs> oh, that was good. That's well. That's. That's what happens when you get taken away from everything that you love and care about. Aww. You start realizing. You start realizing how much it really means means to you. Okay. Well, it is New Year's Eve, so that means this is the big night before the whole countdown and all that. And I'm supposed to go and meet Mister, take care of some stuff for the end of the month, and get ready for the new year. And I feel like New Year's is sequins, but it's like, I didn't buy any new sequin outfits. The only new outfit that I really bought, because I really haven't been collecting my usual outfits, but it's cold out, it's raining tonight. So I don't want to be out there freezing myself off out there, and I don't know how much walking around we're gonna do. So I have this, which looks good on, and I'll show it to you. But it's like, is that dazzling enough for tonight? Also, since I don't have permission to film at a club, I probably won't be able to film my, my outing, which is disappointing, because I want to, even though I'm with Mister. But it is what it is, you get what you get. Do not judge me for my wild closet situation. I've explained that to you before. My closet doors are broken, and I have so many things I have to go through all the time, and also the police threw all my stuff out in uh, my life, my life. Well, I think I can get a better shot, let's see here, of these gold glitter claws with the velvet yellow and black leopard dress. How's that? So for people that really know me, you're probably going to be surprised that I would do this. And the only reason why I am is because I got this cookbook, because I am trying to support other YouTubers, and I do enjoy cooking, and I am interested in other people's family recipes. And in one of their videos, they said that their favorite recipe is meatloaf. Now, I am not really a big fan of meatloaf, and I am thinking that that could just be I don't like my mom's. So I am able, or let's say, willing to revisit it. So I'm just gonna use this bowl, because this is probably the biggest bowl that I have. I have the cookbook propped up here. Since today is New Year's Day, it's 2020. You know, people always wonder, oh, you're making any New Year's resolutions? And I think that that's kind of silly because if you're forcing yourself to make a resolution just because you feel like you have to, it means you're not really serious about it. It means you're not really gonna do it. It's just for show. So it's like, if you wanna do something and set a goal, 
do it any day. You don't need to wait for now to do that. So it's telling me to get my hands in here, but do you think my nails are gonna be a problem? Like is the meat gonna get stuck under the nails? Okay, let me get my hands in this. <laughs> what they do they really like put their hands in it like this it's like the meat is like freezing cold from being in the fridge I think that's pretty good it did kind of get in there a little bit but i'm gonna wash my hands well it looks like it fits perfectly in there good now to make the sauce for the top so they take these whole tomatoes that are peeled and put this over the top of the meatloaf. It says to drain. Okay, so I put those over the top of it. So as I'm waiting for that to cook, I've been kind of reflecting a little bit on this last year and what I want to have happen in the future. And I'm just hoping that none of the crazy things that went down last year are gonna come this year. <laughs> We're done with the crazy bad things. How about something crazy good? When is the crazy good gonna happen? Because I'm definitely ready for that. Now it is this sauce that really makes the meatloaf. It is just ketchup, brown sugar, nutmeg, and mustard, and you mix that all together, and it is wonderful on top of this meatloaf. Okay, so I just made a little piece because I want to try it. And let's see, because I don't normally like meatloaf, so if I like this, it says it quite a bit. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually drastically different than what I'm used to. And that sauce makes the biggest difference. Like you have to make that sauce. Yeah, I would make this for people. This is good. That just goes to show that if you think you don't like something, you should try it another way or made by somebody else. Cause you maybe it's just the way that person makes it that you don't like, you know, you never know. Well, we've made it to another year. Let's make this the best year yet with a lot of love and happiness to come. All right, wild animals. Well, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.